Miller Knoll is a furniture company. Uh, they're probably best known for the Herman Miller line of office uh, chairs and things like that, I think. Is, mm -hmm. is that fair to say? Uh, that's the only thing I know about them. The CEO uh, did a video, or not did a video, it was a, uh, Conference a, a call. Zoom call. Yeah. And during that Zoom call, got a little bit critical of employees who were upset that they didn't have clarity on what the bonus situation was looking for this year, despite the fact that... Uh, she herself has received quite an awful lot of compensation, yeah. including a bonus for last year totaling $1.29 million. And so, naturally, you would expect, hey, if you're getting a bonus of $1.3 million, hey, maybe you would expect some questions about bonuses as well. So, so here's, yeah. here's what she had to say. Going a little bit viral here. Great question, Chris. And, you know, a lot of questions came through about how can we stay motivated if we're not going to get a bonus? What can we do? What can we do? Some of them were nice and some of them were not so nice. So I'm going to address this head on. The most important thing we can do right now is focus on the things that we can control. None of us could have predicted COVID. None of us could have predicted supply chain. None of us could have predicted bank failures. But what we can do is stay in front of our customers, provide the best customer service we can, get our orders out our door, treat each other well, be kind, be respectful, focus on the future because it will be bright. So far, it's so not good. good to be in a situation we're in today, but we're not going to be here forever. It is going to get better. So lead, lead by example, treat people well, talk to them, be kind and get after it. Mm -hmm. Don't ask about what are we going to do if you don't get a bonus? Get the damn $26 million. Spend your time and your effort thinking about the $26 million we need and not thinking about what you're going to do if we don't get a bonus. Ah, uh, geez. All right? Can I get some commitment for that? I would appreciate that. I had an old boss who said to me one time, you can visit Pity City, but you can't live there. So people, leave Pity City. Let's get it done. Thank you. Have so a great day. Day. Oh, the worst. The so, worst ending. So so here's the thing. The, Leave Pity CD. The first two-thirds of that? Well done. Yeah, not bad. Great. Absolutely Did the teleprompter great. run out, like, two-thirds of the way through the... And, and then it was just like a switch went off. Yeah. And... All right. It, was, it went from, you know, treat people well, you know, be nice to each other, to... Leave Pity City and have a great day and go get me my $26 million in Leave sales. Leave Pity City. It's like Reese's Pieces. It's Pity City. <laughs> and uh, maybe tomorrow we can get another one of these because uh, I was quoting, I was seeing a quote from a CEO in Utah of a company called Clearlink who was having a similar type call, clearly company a bit under stress, and he was feeling frustrated with his workers and their willingness to work in the office. His quote, you have misinterpreted my kindness for weakness. And then he went on to celebrate the sacrifice of a worker who sold the family dog in order to come into the office four days a week. Um, now, look, if you have a problem, $26 million. if you have problem with the way your employees are behaving, stop yelling at them in Zoom calls and fire right. them if you think that's a problem. And look, part of me has a little bit of sympathy for her because... Again, when, when you're you. when you're up in front of, you know, your whole company and again, now these things are all being recorded. Is, is this the worst thing that's ever been said in a company? No. I mean, it, it probably wouldn't even make. Honestly, it's probably not even going to make like my top hundred list. No, no. Thank I you. mean, OK, so Papa John CEO, <laughs> uh, like, broad scheme of things. It's not that bad, but it's just, hey, you're telling everyone, you know, be nice to each other, work together. And then right. immediately after. Go out and get the damn twenty-six million dollars, uh, and leave Pity City. I mean, it, it, it's just not also. Did ideal. you deal? Did you catch that weird whispering part? What was that? Appreciate that. <laughs> oh, it, it's that right there is the somebody on the Appreciate verge that. of like scream crying. That that's what that sound is. That's that's what that, I. Sound that's like. me boosting the volume, by the way. <laughs> so appreciate that. Again, I. I, I don't like, you know, kind of how she handled it, but All right. broad scheme of things, I don't think this is that terrible. And I, I do kind of It's just wonder, going viral right now. It's but, just because uh, there's video of it. Yeah. That, Leave that, that's Pity it. City. Pity City. I mean, <laughs> if we're being honest here, how many times do you think Steve Jobs just completely went off on people at Apple? Yeah, so I think we should contextualize this insofar as these types of meetings occurred all the time in 
big auditoriums at the company where people didn't record them. Yeah. That's the only difference. Th- th- there's nothing crazy that's happening. That's here. the only difference. It's just kind of I think it's attitude. A bad way to behave. I think it's childish, uh, but it's not new. No, it, it, it does raise an interesting question, though.